I'm Heather Wilson. I own Sugar Cookie Skincare in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Okay, so we're just gonna start right off with the, what it's like to be a woman in business. Um, gosh, okay, I guess I should have thought about where to start with all of this because when I first moved back to Mount Vernon and was launching my business in 2018, um, I, I did an open house all on my own without joining any clubs or uh, business networking groups. And not long after launching, which was very successful, um, I called in a, the local radio station because I wanted to look at maybe having some ads put on the radio to promote and get some momentum going behind the business. And the man who came from the radio station to give me some quotes on what that would cost, first question that he asked me was, who helped you promote your open house? And I said, nobody, I did it on my own. And he said, well, I've never heard of a woman opening a business and being able to launch it without the help of the local clubs. And I was very taken aback by that. So that kind of started my awareness of what owning a business as a woman in a small town was going to be like, because there is that sort of underlying patriarchal belief system that men are the dominant leaders and women are submissive. And I'm just not a very submissive woman. So... Um, I, had, I ran into issues when I was looking for an accountant. I had a meeting scheduled with a large accounting firm here in town. The man who I was meeting with was 30 minutes late to our meeting. He came moseying back in from lunch like it was no big deal that it was 30 minutes past the appointment time. And then he said, well, tell me about this home-based business that you have. And I said, it's not a home-based business. I have a brick and mortar location. You know, we've already doubled revenue since the first year of being open. I've got employees. I think I need to be moving from sole proprietorship to an S Corp. And he said, oh, you don't need to do that. You know, you can just keep your, your home-based business the way you've got it as a sole proprietor. You know, it shouldn't be a big deal. He completely did not take me seriously, was not interested in hearing anything about what any of my goals or plans were, and asked me what my husband did for a living. And I don't have a husband, I'm a single mother. thought and I mean we really have to train people to not care what the outside world thinks is, and just empower them to not rely on men rely on yourself rely on your own abilities because at the end of the day you're the only one that's gonna take care of yourself so I decided from that point on that I was gonna hire women to handle the important things that I need as far as insurance goes, accounting goes, um, you know, I, I've got a female that is my spa manager now. Women have a different understanding of the kind of work that we're doing. Um, it's been very difficult in this community, really even getting male clientele to come in because there's such a stigma around this being such a thing, a, a type of business that only women come and do. Um, when I was out on the West Coast, also had sugar cookie out there. It was a completely different scene. Men were comfortable coming in and getting facials and getting sugar. And, uh, and here in Mount Vernon, it's been really challenging to overcome that. So, um, I mean, the other thing is that, you know, moving back here, I had to actually put on our website a zero tolerance to sexual harassment policy on our website to limit the amount of men calling here asking inappropriate questions um, you know expecting that we are going to do some kind of extracurricular services while we're here 
Um, so I had to put it out there that if at any point we feel uncomfortable, um, if at any point any questions are being asked that we, um, that it's disrespectful to us as professional estheticians, that we will gladly refuse service because we're not going to work with people that don't have respect for the work that we're doing. Yeah, I, you know, I think that um, that is somewhat specific, I think, to the individuals. So my personal approach is I prefer collaboration over competition. I personally, I don't even look at or care what anybody else is charging for services in the whole Southern Illinois area. I just don't spend any of my energy looking at that. I really do want to see strong, successful, woman-owned businesses flourishing all over hey, Southern Illinois. Yeah. Um, so how do you get these females, the younger generation, to understand a trade? What you do is a trade. Mm -hmm. What Robbie does is a trade. Mm -hmm. What Rock, Paper, Scissors does is a trade. These kids don't care about trade. I didn't say school. I didn't say you got to go to school for four or five years. A trade. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, how do you move forward? How do you tell the kids to move forward? Because the young lady's gonna look at you and go, your business is gonna be irrelevant because a robot's gonna be doing your job in a few years. Mm. Yeah. So how do you motivate and empower the next generation of young ladies? Because they are already digitally formatted. Yeah, yeah. I, I can only say how my own journey went. Um, I, worked in the insurance business for 14 years because it provided a solid income for me and my son when I was raising him by myself. I came to the point in my life where I realized that that paycheck was not bringing me any joy. It was like I was selling my soul for somebody else to make money and it was not bringing me any of the happiness that I wanted to do. So I jumped off the ledge. I completely did a 180 with my career. I did something completely different. I did go to school for aesthetics. I honestly went into it thinking that I was just gonna like be a waxer. I had no idea that I was gonna have the passion for the industry that I did. So I, I think the, the thing that is the most important is that you figure out what it is that gives you some kind of joy, what you have an interest in, what you feel passionate about, and then you find the things that you can do because you always can do something. There's gonna be lots and lots of people out there that will tell you what you can't do, but what you can't do doesn't matter. All you have to do is find what you can and do one little thing, one thing every day that gets you one little step closer to that and that snowballs and turns into a business. We all have to go along on our own journey. So I, I don't know that it's necessarily, it's not gonna be helpful, at least not for any young girl who's like me when I was young, because I was young and rebellious. Nobody could tell me anything. I was gonna do what I wanted to do and I was gonna figure out how I could make that happen if anybody had come to me and said like, oh, you're not going to be able to do this thing that you're wanting to do. This isn't going to work out for you. I would have just tried to figure out, well, how I could prove them wrong. So, and I would have had to learn my own lessons along the way. All of that learning is what brought me to the point that I'm at now. I mean, I was in my late thirties when I decided to, to do this business thing. I, I see, we, Nicole and I each see like somewhere between 50 and 60 people a week. And when we're in this room with these women, we it's like counseling time. There's a lot of young women that come in here that tell me that they want to do things like be influencers. And I'll ask them like, well, what what is your th what are you going to focus on? Because you got to have a subject matter. You got to have a subject matter. You can't just be out here just putting random videos of yourself doing this or doing that. Like you got to have a subject matter. I think that's why the collaboration part is important. So the only good piece of advice that I could give to young people is listen to the people who are doing it and receive that wisdom and let that marinate and continue stepping forward. Every day you got to do something. Every day you got to do one thing that gets you a little closer to your goal.
Hey 